Let's talk about some myths that sellers have about selling their home in today's market. Myth number one is that no seller prep is needed. A lot of sellers are like, well, I know there's low inventory. I'm not doing anything to my house. I'm just going to put it on the market and let's run with it. And that's probably the biggest mistake you can make because with interest rates higher, buyers know that we're in a different market than we were in the past two, two and a half years. And buyers are not going to come look at homes that don't look like they've been properly prepared. So if it looks like you have stains on your ceiling from a previous water leak, that's going to be a turnoff. If your house is cluttered and there's no room to walk through it, that's going to be a turnoff. Buyers want to know that you are taking the time to properly get the home prepared and they're just not going to come see your house if the fact that you didn't prepare the home is very visible through the photographs. Myth number two is I can still ask whatever price I want. And that's probably the biggest challenge that I face as a realtor today is talking to sellers and trying to get them to understand that I understand your, your neighbor's house sold 18 months ago for X, but that was 18 months ago when interest rates were at three and a half percent. It's a different market now. So while you're still probably gonna make more money selling your home than you would have pre-2020, you're probably not gonna get that premium price that you would have gotten in 2021. So you can't ask whatever you want. And I have people say, well, I can always come down. Well, the longer you wait to come down, the less money you're gonna end up making on your house. Because right now, homes that are properly prepared and properly priced will sell within about seven to 10 days of going on the market. So after about two weeks, if your home has not sold, buyers think there's a problem with it. What's wrong with it? Why is that house not under contract? Why has that house not sold? And you're gonna to have to keep reducing the price to chase the market at that point. You're gonna end up selling for less than if you'd listened to your agent and priced it right the first time. Myth number three, we can still use multiple offers to our advantage. That is true to an extent. If you get offers, 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 and you keep extending your multiple offer deadline, you're gonna turn the buyers off and they may all withdraw and go find another house. I tell people within the first day or so of getting showings, we know how that property is gonna go. If we're getting showing requests, showing requests, showing requests, one right after the other, then yeah, we need to pick a deadline and say, all offers are going to be due by this time and we will make a decision by this time because buyers want to know when they're going to have an answer to their offer. So don't try to play the multiple offer situation if it's not warranted for your particular home. If you get two offers and that's the only two offers you've seen, I wouldn't do a multiple offer situation. I would pick between the two offers and choose one or the other to work with. Myth number four is that selling as is will be fine. Selling as is does not really work in this market anymore, especially if you've not done any preparation to your home. So a couple of years ago, buyers were waiving home inspections. They would do anything they had to do to get into the house. And because interest rates are higher and it's gonna cost them more to buy this house, they're not gonna overlook repairs. So while they may say, okay, yeah, we understand we're buying it as is, we can't tell them they can't do a home inspection. So what I find is that these buyers do a home inspection and then based on what they find, they're gonna ask you to reduce the price or they're gonna walk. So don't think that just because you say you're selling it as is means that people can't do a home inspection and people can't back out of the home sale due to the home inspection. Myth number five is no contingencies. I don't want any contingencies. You're just not gonna get that right now. I mean, everybody is gonna have contingencies, whether it's a home inspection, whether it's financing, whether it's an appraisal. Sometimes you're even gonna have a home sale contingency. We're seeing more and more of those in the market now. And typically if we get an offer that has a home sale contingency, then we're gonna give that buyer first right of refusal, meaning okay, we've got you in our back pocket, but we're going to keep marketing this house to try and get a buyer who's ready, willing, and able to buy the house right now today without having another home to sell. So 
While selling your home in today's market is still a very doable thing, it's not quite as easy as it was in 2020 when you could just stick the sign in the yard and the offers just started flowing in. You've got to take the time to talk to your realtor, prepare your home, get it ready for photographs, have it ready for showings, and then know that you're probably gonna have to do a little bit more negotiation than you would have 12 to 18 months ago. If you're thinking about selling your home in the next six to 12 months, I'd love to have a conversation with you and let's see what that looks like for your situation. Send me a DM or leave a comment below.